Hey, hey, and welcome to our 11th video in the Java 2D game programming series. So in the last video, we made the animation manager, which keeps track of what frame you're on and it gives you the sprite. So in this video, we are going to implement the direction logic as well as make our units be able to use the walk animation. So let's get to it. The first thing we want to do is create the direction class, but it will be an enum. Okay, so the reason why it's going to be an enum is I want my directions. So first of all, there are only four, di sorry, eight directions in our game because I decided that I want to use eight directions. And since we've also decided how we are structuring our sprites, we know that the first row is always south and then it moves in a clockwise um, direction. So we can use that to our advantage and put it inside of the direction. So that way we can ask the direction which row we're supposed to look at when we get our animation. So in order to do this, I am just going to look at my cheat sheet a little bit because I planned this out before. We want to store animation row. So it knows about the animation row. So we store it here. We need a constructor. So this animation row is equal to animation row and Let's just do the alt insert thing and do a getter. Okay, so now we need to define our directions and sorry, it starts at zero because it's an index. So let's just go through them and give them what they should have. All right, that's all eight of them. So now our enum knows our directions and for each direction, it also knows which animation row it should be looking at. Okay, so we need a, a couple more class or methods. Okay, so we need a couple more methods. Let's just see, probably not before that one, right? But maybe before the getter because getters aren't very interesting. So here, let's just say public, public static direction from motion. And let's just get a movement movement. And the reason I wrote motion is because I'm probably going to rename this actually. So by pressing shift and F6, you rename. It's the refactor rename thing. Let's just rename everything. And I don't really have a good reason movement motion it's not longer i mean it's a it's a bit shorter to write but i just feel like it made more sense i just want it to be called motion it's a much nicer word so and thanks to the power of modern ides it's really simple to change it so we could always change it again if we wouldn't like it but i think i like this word so let's call it a motion so what we need now is to get the x from the vector. So let's just get motion, get vector, get x, and then also the y. Motion, get vector, get y. And now comes the boring part of doing mapping, but we only have to do this once and then it's done and then we can always just ask our directions. But let's get to the mapping. So if x is equal to zero and y is larger than zero, then that means we are walking south. If x is larger than zero and y is larger than, sorry, is smaller than zero and y is zero, then return west. If x is equal to zero 
and y is smaller than zero, then return north. And if x is larger than zero and y is equal to zero, then return east. And then if x is smaller than zero and y is larger than zero, then return southwest. If x is smaller than zero and y is smaller than zero as well, then return northwest. If x is larger than zero and y is smaller than zero, then return northeast. And if x is larger than zero and y is also larger than zero, then return southeast. And by default, let's just return south. So it's not angry with us. Uh, hopefully this is enough for now. So let's leave our direction and let's go into our moving entity. So now we want to store, first of all, a direction in here, direction. And let's just initialize that direction to be direction S by default. So let's say this, so it matches the ones above, uh, maybe here too, just so it looks the same. And now what we want to do is we want to update it using our direction. Okay, but we need to do some more things. Maybe we actually want to do um, cal, sorry, check direction or hmm, set direction. No, that means we already know what, what it is. Um, let's just call it manage direction for now. We can always change the name later. Okay, so manage direction. Here I want to check if motion is moving, which is something we'll have to implement, then this direction is equal to direction from motion, motion. So we need to implement this moving. So Alt Enter and create that method. And we'll just check the, the um, vector length if it's larger than zero. That means we are going in some direction. Okay, so if it's moving, then let's update the direction. And the animation manager does not take a direction yet, but we want it to. And now we actually have to save the direction index. And let's just let the, this direction index is zero from the start. So that is south. And now in update, let's just take in the direction direction. All right, and let's just set the direction index here. So direction index is equal to direction dot get animation row. So now it's as easy as that. And to make it work, we have to put it in here where we just said zero. We now have to say direction index and then also the sprite size. So Let's just check if this worked. And it did. However, I see a bug with the code that we wrote last week. So I probably shouldn't have added the minus one here since I did larger than or equals to, not just larger than. So just remove the minus one, we do not need it. See, much better. All right, so let's just make him walk as well. That shouldn't take too much. We have everything we need. So let's just say um, decide animation. Let's call it that for now. And so in this uh, method, we'll just check some conditions and decide what animation we should be playing. And for now, we only have two animations. So let's check if we're moving, because if we are, then we want our animation manager to play animation walk. 
and if not we want our animation manager to play animation stand so that is it let's check that again and look Dave is walking that is superb let's just check him Matt out as well so write Matt up here and now we have Matt and Matt is also walking yay all of the walking Hmm, he's looking a bit strange. I wonder if that's something with the rendering, maybe? Oh. Well, there you have it. We have walking guys in the right directions as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll meet you up in the next one. Hey, Dove!